For Comedy Hype News, it's your boy K-Rock. The road to becoming a successful comedian is a long journey filled with obstacles. Very few make it to the top of the mountain, and the ones that do have had to sacrifice a lot to get there. Once one has made it to the top, they prefer to see a familiar face around them as well. A good example of this would be Adam Sandler, who was known for putting the friends he started out with in comedy in his movies to this day. Rob Snyder, David Spade are known for having roles in Sandler movies. And although Chris Rock has experienced a large amount of success himself, he too is included in Sandler's friend group from back when they were all hired for Saturday Night Live around the same time. Aside from Adam Sandler, Kevin Hart has his plastic cup boys. There was also another group that modeled themselves after Frank Sinatra's Rat Pack, who could have made a colossal impact in Hollywood if they stuck around. This picture of Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, Keenan Ivory Waynes, Robert Townsend, and the late Paul Mooney has been floating around for some time now. They call themselves the Black Pack. And what if we told you the Black Pack was supposed to have the same effect as Sandler and the Happy Madison Gang, and Kevin Hart and the Plastic Cup Boys? This is the story behind the Black Pack, Hollywood's lost comedy group. The Black Pack modeled themselves after the Rat Pack. The Rat Pack refers to an informal group of entertainers made up of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. These A-list show business friends would meet casually at the home of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall in the 1960s and often performed together in Las Vegas casinos and made movies together. According to sources, the name came from Bacall. When Bacall saw her husband, Bogart, and his friends coming back from a night in Las Vegas, you look like a goddamn Rat Pack, she said. What Frank Sinatra was to the Rat Pack, Eddie Murphy is to the Black Pack. In 1988, a Los Angeles Times article defined the group as a clique of successful black comedians, including Murphy, Arsenio Hall, Keenan Ivory Waynes, Robert Townsend, and Paul Mooney. Other unofficial members included those who made up Eddie's entourage, like his brother Charlie, his cousin Ray Ray, and others including his uncle and family members. We all started out together. Each of the guys I know from their first time auditioning at a club, or us standing in line to audition at a club, and we've just managed to maintain the friendship through the years. According to Variety, Eddie Murphy was the first one to use the official phrase, the Black Pack. This happened during a press conference for Beverly Hills Cop 2 in 1987. We have a group that I like to call the Black Pack. We basically hang out together and bounce ideas off each other. The idea of unity within the Black Pack was also a response to the lack of recognition of black people in the motion picture industry. I don't blame Hollywood for not making black films. What I blame Hollywood for is not providing an outlet for blacks to make films. With limited roles for black comedians, the formation of the Black Pack helped to ease jealousy and open the doors for collaboration, according to member Arsenio Hall. I think it's good these guys work together. Like I'm doing this, why don't you come do a guest spot? The idea of the Black Pack came from a Hollywood party where it was insinuated that if someone were giving the same break as Eddie on SNL, anyone could have made it like him. In response, Eddie had this to say. You know I hate that attitude. You mother think I'm not talented. And anybody can do this? Does good have anything to do with this? That pisses me off. That was my shot and I did with it a lot of people couldn't. If we would stop bragging on each other, talking about who's best and who ain't shit, I'm with that man. Instead of this come together, why should we bicker when we could chisel a while a lot harder at success through unity? Yeah, nobody's gonna cast us in a John Hughes film. Nah, they got the Brat Pack and we're the Black Pack, homie. In a Wayans interview with the Television Academy, he says that he's been friends with Eddie Murphy since he was 18 and Eddie was 16. The two met doing stand-up comedy in New York. Eddie told Keenan that he thought he was the only funny black comedian in New York. But after seeing Wayans perform, Eddie admitted there were two. Murphy and Arsenio met through a mutual friend, Keenan Ivory Wayne. Hall revealed this in a 2020 interview with Howard Stern. Eddie would come to LA from New York, and I think he was in town to do The Tonight Show, probably around the same time he was shooting 48 hours. I think I got that timeline right. And Keenan Wayans called me and said, why don't you meet us at the Improv? Because Keenan's a New York comic, and they were all friends with Eddie. And he said, Damon, my brother's coming. You haven't met Damon, and you gotta come meet Damon and we all met in front of the improv. Eddie's mother had seen Hall on the variety show Solid Go and made the assessment that her son, Eddie, looked very similar to Arsenio. I saw a young man on Solid Go and he did stand up and I think all of you could be brothers. I want you to look for Arsenio when you get out there. When Keenan introduced Eddie and Arsenio, the first thing Eddie said to Arsenio was, nigga, you don't look like me. It wasn't long before the comedy titans came together and formed what they called the Black Pack. 
In the late 80s, they all worked with Eddie and they appeared in each other's films. Some of the projects they collaborated on saw the light of day and there were other projects that remained in development hell. One project that would never come to fruition would be written by Paul Mooney himself. The Los Angeles Times reported that the script was intended to star Murphy and it will be about a slave with supernatural powers who refuses to use them because power corrupts. In 1988, Pee Wee Herman had become an honorary member of the Black Pack. The plaque given to him read, Dear Pee Wee, life at the top is one big circus and we have selected you to become an honorary member of the Black Pack to join the rest of us brothers on the 21st day of July 1988. It was signed by Murphy, Hall, Townsend, Mooney, and Wayans. As the years went on, each member of the Black Pack started to achieve their own success in the industry. Robert Townsend directed and starred in Hollywood Shuffle in 1987. Keenan Ivory Wayans is credited with co-writing the film and is featured in a small role. Townsend also directed Eddie Murphy's Raw the same year while Wayans co-wrote the opening sketch along with Murphy. Paul Mooney opened up for Murphy on the Raw tour before the film's release. In 1988 and 1989, Murphy and Arsenio Hall collaborated on Coming to America and Harlem Nights. Also, while Wayans was developing his directorial debut, it was later revealed that Murphy had came up with the title of the film, which turned out to be I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. The Black Pack wouldn't reach their full potential because everyone eventually blew up. Eddie was the first with Saturday Night Live, then making his transition into film. Townsend was the next with the release of Hollywood Shuffle, while it was a huge success and made over $5 million from a $100,000 budget. Arsenio was the next one up after getting the chance to host his own late night talk show. The Arsenio Hall Show began in January 1989 and the Fox Studio became a hangout club for the Black Pack. Whether they were chilling in the dressing room, the audience, walk on, stand up performances, whenever Eddie stopped by the show, ratings were as high as ever. In 1988, Keenan released his first film, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. However, Keenan wouldn't reach groundbreaking heights until two years later with In Living Color. As all members of the Black Pack began to flourish in their career, in 1990, Spike Lee asked in an interview why the two haven't worked together yet. Eddie had this to say. What happened is a bunch of separate camps and shit. There's a Spike camp, the Eddie camp, the Keenan camp, the Robert Townsend camp, and everybody's going off doing their own shit. So nobody is collaborating. So it never happens, and it's stupid. We never got to see what the Black Pack can do together. The closest we've come to seeing a group of A-list black comedians together is when Eddie hosted SNL, where he was joined by Chris Rock, Tracy Morgan, and Dave Chappelle. Rumors of the collaboration between these artists have circulated for years, whether it be Rock and Chappelle allegedly going on tour together, or Eddie Murphy putting Rock, Chappelle, Martin, Chris Tucker, and Tracy Morgan all in one movie. Separately, the members of the Black Pack were able to get a lot done and have all reached legendary status by themselves. However, one cannot help but imagine what they would have been able to accomplish together. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and look for our new original content on our streaming platform, ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, this has been your boy K-Rock.